Just bear with us, guys. We're just trying to get a live stream up and running on YouTube. Just bear with us, guys. Let me invite these people out. There you go. This video is private for some reason. Oh, it makes still something in text. Okay, no, it's uh, Bioro is actually live now. It's reporting it's live. Yeah, it is. It's live. It's okay. Just double check. Okay, we're live. Buddykins, yeah? All right, guys, no problems. We're live on YouTube, Bureau of H uh, Bureau HQ YouTube channel now. We've got it sorted, so we're up and running. Okay. Just bear with us, guys. Welcome. Awesome. Um, please make yourself comfortable. Get ready for this evening's um, training. We won't be two ticks. I'll be right back. Is that what? Put your seat. In the upright position, we are about to blast off. Where is the trash can? Hey, welcome, guys. Get yourself comfortable. Put your seat in the upright position. We're about to blast off in a few. Yeah, you know. Okay, guys. Yeah, I'm back. Just grabbed a quick drink. Okay, General. Yeah, General, everybody. Have the seat in the forward position and they're ready to take off. Exactly. Strap yourselves in, guys. This is transition <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's nice to see plenty of members coming on board. Joining us this evening, we've got a lot of information going on here. Um, what I want members to do is empty the mind of all the stresses that we've all been through over the last couple of days and be prepared to take note of what we've got to talk about this evening. The only way that we'll get through this transition oh is by being patient, by being um, observant, uh, just bear with me, and taking in the information that we're given, okay? Transitions from hyper community to hyper, uh, sorry, for Dalversal is extremely easy, but some people are making it quite hard. OK, so what we want to do is try and make that process as easy as possible for you guys. OK. Just bear with me, guys. We've got people coming in all the time and I'm like Sergeant Meng co-host just in case he's available to come on. 
Uh, is I'm going to help them some of them come in. Say again, Leon. I will help some come in. I invite the people, Lord, to enter. Excellent. I'm going to assist. I'm going to assist. Awesome. Looking for Deborah's not about yet. Okay, what have we got in the chat? Geneva, good evening, Geneva. Welcome to the Sunday evening training. Anybody else that would like to say hi, just put it in the chat box. Let us know where you're coming in from. We're going to be a couple of minutes, guys. We're just waiting for everybody to come into the room. Um, it's been quite a hectic day trying to help other people. And we want to make sure everybody gets as much information as possible, okay? For those that don't know, we are live streaming on the Bureau HQ YouTube channel as well. Greeting Sergeant Meng from USA. Nice to see you here, Meng. Hope everything's going well over there, buddy. Okay. It is. I'm a... Uh... I can only stay on for not too. I I can't be on too long. Still remodeling my house, so. No problem, mate. No problem. Good to see you here. Uh, yeah, Geneva. Will this be recorded? This is why we broadcast to YouTube as well because it's automatically recorded. Okay. And then what we do, we replay that over on uh, the Metaverse Masterminds YouTube channel various times throughout the week so that it covers different time zones as well. OK. I did see another uh, uh, hi there. Oh, I bu Buzzy Crypto. Good evening from Guateng. I don't know where Guateng is. Enlighten me. Where's Guateng? Is it Africa? I, I would think it was. Have we got a Sergeant Deborah in yet? I don't think so. I can't see. Can't see Sergeant Deborah in at the moment. Okay, that's the member that we was waiting for. We'll just give it a minute or two. We're also we're also quite busy at this end, guys. We've got some uh, gates to lock up as soon as the guys have taken a vehicle from uh, the site. We're site manager, sort of site security, if you like, for this property, and somebody's come to pick a vehicle up. So Buddykins might have to nip off and just lock up in a second, so just bear with us. Um, greetings from South Africa. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And like I say, guys, I'm really pleased that you've made it to the call this evening. Um, many people have uh, done this migration without a hiccup, but we are aware that some people are struggling with it. So please bear with us. And like I say, guys, what I want you to do, empty your mind of all the stresses that you've been through over the last couple of days. Yeah, we're starting this uh, session. What's that thing at the top? We're starting this session with a fresh mind, okay, in order to help everybody. Many people from South Africa, that's great, and London too. And Mozambique, my great successful. Excellent, Isabel. Good to hear that. Okay, we're fast approaching 10 past. We're at seven minutes past um, seven in the UK. Seven minutes past 7 p.m. in the UK. I do believe that's seven minutes past nine in South Africa. So, right, how many have we got? We've got 30 in, guys. Okay, let's crack on with this training session. Let's get going. Okay, guys, just bear with me a sec. Okay, then, welcome to uh, Sunday evening training, guys, 14th of April, 2024. Great to see you all on board. Um, we're at a significant milestone within the journey of Dalversal in the disconnection of uh, the Hyper Community Store. But before I go on, I would like to uh, welcome all members, of course, but I would like to also make an announcement and share our respect, love 
and condolences to the friends and family and loved ones of Mr. Keith Williams. Now, if you just, just give me a second or two, I just want to send, uh, share something with you guys. Just bear with me. Won't be a second, guys. Just reduce that. Reduce that. Open that. I've got a little something to read out for you uh, with you guys, okay? So let me just make sure that this is being shared. Can you see it? Okay. Uh, it comes with great sadness that. Uh, Mr. Keith Williams passed away uh, a couple of days ago. It came to our attention, and I would like to just read out something because I'm not very good at doing this, guys. You know, I've never been uh, one for um, addressing such problems, but I want to be able to read this small passage out that I read within one of the groups uh, yesterday, and I think it's quite fitting, so just bear with us. Keith Williams passed away this morning. This was on the 12th of April. Dear members, it is with profound sadness that we inform you of the passing of Keith Williams earlier today. Keith succumbed to his battle with cancer, surrounded by his family and loved ones. Over the past few months, Keith demonstrated incredible strength and integrity. Despite facing his own challenges, he remained committed to promoting positive intentions. It is important to recognise that Keith was not originally aware of the actions taken by the Hypertech Group and Sam Lee, which were contrary to his values and principles. He only wanted best for his community. Not all will know the man behind the scenes. Some may still be very angry due to their financial loss in Hyper. However, let us all honour Keith's decision to spend his final days in the comfort of his family and grandchildren, embodying the dignity and grace he carried throughout his life. Thoughts and prayers during this time reflect the spirit of community and compassion that Keith valued so deeply. And that was with warm regards from a member called Rory. Now, guys, I just wanted to read that out because... We all understand the issues that we've uh, been through. And I think it's quite uh, relevant to be able to share that with you guys, okay? No matter what happens in life, we're all human beings, okay? I never had the uh, honour of meeting Keith in real life, but I did work with him at some point in the past. And I witnessed Keith as a man of my own heart and dignity, okay? His intentions, in my opinion, was purely community and community driven, okay? So I just thought the least we can do is just take that couple of minutes and honor that uh, man and send our condolences to his family. So rest in peace, Keith. We're thinking of you and your family at this time, okay? And that's from General Kev and anybody that I can speak for. All right, guys, let's move on. Um, OK. I want to read a disclaimer first before we go on, and then I'll just uh, carry on with the show. At the Bureau HQ, we're all about empowering and guiding our community in the vast landscape of the metaverse. However, it's crucial to note that we do not provide final financial advice. Our mission is centered around education, community building and support, but any information shared is for informational purposes only. We encourage our members to conduct thorough research and seek advice from qualified financial professionals when making investment decisions. The metaverse is an exciting and dynamic space, and while we aim to facilitate understanding, the responsibility for financial decisions ultimately rests with each individual. Your journey in the metaverse is uniquely yours, and we're here to provide resources and assistance without stepping into the realm of financial advisory. Okay, guys? So let's just go through a 
few quick pointers before I want to share with you guys a tutorial regarding this um, migration. So let me bring up the house that we need to be looking at. Let me see if I can find it. Not in there at the moment. Let me just find in here. Not tonight, because everything's been going crazy. Okay, guys, basically what it is, we, we've got to that position now where we can migrate our login process away from the one-click uh, method, okay? So this affects those members within Dowversal using the Dowversal platform who had to log in using the one-click method. Now, that was from Hyperverse sourced uh, accounts, okay? Now, many members have had problems with this. It is an easy solution, but we do we are starting to identify that there's some problems with members that have used the same email address for two uh, consecutive accounts. OK, so what I want to do, guys, is try and get you to watch the tutorial very carefully. I'm going to play it in a minute. OK. Take that, see if it is re uh, relative to your situation. And if it isn't, then after the video, me and Coach Leon are available to take any questions. Now, I'm not going to address any questions regarding withdrawals at the beginning. OK, so please leave them till the end if we've got time. OK, now withdrawals will come afterwards, but they're not of priority at this time. So if we can look at um, the process of migrating that one click to the login of Dalversal website instead, then we'll address them uh, questions and answers first. OK, so let me share my screen. Let me find the video and let's go through that video, guys. So that we know where we are. OK, there's the video and I'll be on the desktop. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Okay, guys, so let's go about this one-click login procedure and let's get rid of it once and for all. We've got the opportunity now to change that to a direct login with the Dalversal website. So what we need to do, guys, is go ahead and share my screen for a start, okay? So just bear with me while I set this up and we can start from the beginning. Okay, guys, so... You need to go to the star.dalversal.com login page and you need to log in exactly the same th way that you have been doing in the past. You need to use the one click login. OK, from there, you need to input your username together with your password. So in effect, what you're doing is you're doing a, a general login as you have been. Don't use that first time login. That's not how you do it. You just use your username, password and confirm that. Now, you'll then have to authorize the system to log you into Dalversal. So you click on authorize. At this point, up pops your account migration notice. OK. We would like to inform you that the one click login feature on Hyper Community will be phased out on April the 27th, 2024 at 2359 GST to ensure uninterrupted access and security of your assets. Users must initiate the account migration process to Dalversal. Your prompt action is appreciated as failure to migrate your account within the stipulated time frame may result in potential asset loss. We appreciate your cooperation and understanding. So this needs to be uh, action before the 27th of April 
at midnight or a minute to midnight okay so click on account migration and up pops your details the e email is the one that's registered to that account your username and this is where you can put in your password you can use the same password right one thing i will say though is that we have noticed that usernames may have to change to something of less than 10 characters okay so let me put let me put my usual password in okay and let's send right a code has been sent but i do believe we may have a problem so just bear with me as soon as we get that code through okay okay now watch this guy oh it'd be best if we type it in there there we go you want to get 60 seconds to do this it might pop up with an error there we go account length cannot exceed 10 characters now what it should say is username length okay this is this has confused a lot of people let's try this three six nine ten characters okay now what i'm going to do now is try and send another code so rub that one out and send code it says it's sent successfully now it might send me another it should send me a different code which it it's actually the same one which is strange okay let's see if this works account migration successful wonderful absolutely wonderful okay so that's kept my same password but i've had to change my um username okay so there's my username now general kev okay so and it's up the top now look okay so let's log out and let's go through the normal process now of logging in let me refresh the page because it's not allowing my cursor to go in there there we go okay let the internet just catch up with us and i need to see my name up there absolutely wonderful guys there we go and just to make sure let me see if my land's there perfect absolutely perfect let's have a look at me assets yeah and my tfa absolutely perfect guys absolutely perfect i'm so pleased that that's sorted out now so let me come back into the studio stop sharing my screen so there we have it guys it is really that simple so there's just that one thing to be aware of if you get that error of 10 characters then your username needs to be smaller okay now you can see that i used exactly 10 characters that does work so it's anything up to and including uh, 10 characters okay guys best of luck hope everything works all right any problems give us a shout and we'll try help all we can all right bye bye for now okay make sure my microphone's on yeah we're on all right then guys so as you can see the tut tutorial was fairly flawless apart from that username error um, that members have to have a username of 10 characters or less, okay? 
Now, as I said before, there are, there has been some other issues that have prop, popped up in the meantime. So what can we do about that? What I would like to do is let this other member into the group first. Right, what I would like to do is suggest some uh, primary um, primary uh, resolutions first. As in, if you're not 100% sure that this migration has worked, log out of everything and go all the way back to logging in as you used to do originally. Go to your hyper community website by the one click method, use the original username and password and see what happens. See if you can get logged in. Now, <clears throat> Coach is up there and I'm going to spotlight him at the side of me here because he's going to be my sidekick, my wingman. And we're going to go through uh, any questions that you guys have got. I would like you to raise your hand. Just one second. We've got Sergeant Deborah in the room as well. I didn't realise. I've just been told. So that's good. Bear with us, Deborah. I'll find you in a second. Can you hear me, Coach? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, nice one. And we've also got Sergeant Deborah as well, who I've made co-host. So if Sergeant Deborah wants to uh, join us on the stage here just give us a shout deborah and i'll spotlight you as well yes you can add me on the spotlight okay you might have to put your video on deborah are you able to do that tonight perfect okay wonderful good yeah. evening deborah. Uh, well, Sergeant deborah look at you Queen. Look at hello, you. hello. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Absolutely radiant. Okay, guys. Deborah, have you been in long? Was it, did you see the video? Sorry, I didn't see when you entered. Yes, I did see yeah. from the beginning, actually. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Brilliant. We've got one hand up. That's what I was waiting for, because what I was going to do is just go through some of the issues that... Uh, Deborah and Coach have uh, experienced as well. But because somebody's there waiting, let's go ahead. Uh, Yvonne, would you like to unmute and come on board? Ask your question. Oh, hi. Thanks for the presentation and everything. Um, I just wondered, are you able to demonstrate um, um, the smart contract element? Because I want to share this information with my team. Um, this evening, can I can I ask to put that at the end of the program if we've got time? And if not, Sergeant Buddy, uh, Private Bodykins can share a tutorial video that I've already done about that. Is that okay? okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, thanks. Okay, Kevin. Thanks. We really we really do want to make it priority tonight for this migration, if possible. If we have time, I'll do it. No problem. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. All right. Stick with us, Yvonne. If it's a if if we have plenty of time, put your hand up later. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, Deborah, can you go through a couple of the problems that you've experienced other than the basic 10 character element? Some members have had problems with emails. Now, this isn't very straightforward, is it? Have you found any uh, instant solutions or suggestions that you can uh, offer the uh, viewers in order to help them. All right. I would say uh, what I have encountered this side is whereby members were not sure of the account source. You know, when it says hyper community, they're forgetting the one click and they're looking at it as in the hyper community, as in all the members, you know, the members that came from Hypertech, you know. So on the account source, they went differentiating which source they are. Because I remember there were some that um, registered, instead of doing the one click last year, they did a direct registration mm -hmm. of the account and they ended up with the, with the Satoshi AI source. 
some had a DVH and all that. So there were some that weren't understanding what account source they were under. And they were logging in and not finding the pop-up. So the pop-up okay. is only applicable to the members who were logging in via the hyper community one click, meaning when they bind it, they bind it with the one click method and they fall under the category of HV source, the network. And also another encounter is whereby um, some members had that issue with the 10 character, which is mostly clarified now for most members. So they weren't sure what to do or what to adjust for the username to actually accept. Okay, yeah. The 10 character one was slightly confusing because it wasn't worded very well when it happened, like I, like I showed in the video. I was a little bit confused by it for a start, and then, then the penny dropped. Leon gave me the uh, heads up on that. Thank you, Leon. Um, it, it all became clear once we found out what the issue was. So, like I say, guys, the, 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 one, the first step is to keep calm. Keep calm and ask ask clear, concise questions, okay, in order to get the, the resolution for this migration. As Sergeant Deborah has quite um, rightly said, the first step to, to take is determine where your account source came from, okay, because this migration doesn't actually have to be done by everybody. And this is something that I've seen people trying to do it who were under the Hypernation or Satoshi AI um, account source. They don't need to do it because they can log di directly into the Dowversal website. So another thing that I did notice, Deborah, we've, we've had uh, with one of our downline, we've had the issue where they've already had, uh, they've already got a Dowversal account with the same email address. Now, they used another email address and they were very successful in that and it worked absolutely fine. Now, have you got any reason to believe that that won't work with some of the members? Because they're a little bit dubious about will that work or will I lose my account? Now, I want to make it clear that accounts do not disappear. You know, we've had many people saying, my, my account has disappeared, and it hasn't. It's just a case of logging into it correctly. So I don't think there's any worry about changing the email address if you clearly know that you're already using the same email address in Dowversal. What do you think, Deborah? As for the email, uh, David did specify that there's no issues uh, if, if there are specific reasons that are actually leading a person to change their email address, they can. Because remember, what they are doing there is clicking the programmed, um, it says migrate, it says migrate. So it's not like they're starting a new, brand new account, but their data is already there. So the email address address uh, there's no compromise on the email address if it is necessarily changed on the system while they're doing the migrate they don't lose the assets and they don't end up with a zero account yeah yeah sure people were sort of confused by the word migrate they thought that after they changed the login <laughs> procedure what would happen to their assets <laughs> nothing they're still there it's the same account, it's just the, the way that they log in that changes, correct? And I think these simple, um, these simple facts clear the mind of members because it's the confusion that creates the uh, upset and this is how people tend to get knotted up um, with the problem. So is there any other things that you want to, to cover, Deborah, while we're waiting? After migration, uh, go ahead, Deborah, sorry. Yeah, while you're on that aspect of the email, sorry. While you are on that aspect of the email, a system, if you click on migrate, it cannot migrate a zero account. Yeah. When you actually have 
an account that already has assets, the system cannot migrate a zero uh, balance, um, you know, asset account. So it's just to, you know, emphasize to members that they must use the correct login details because they've been logging in on the system daily and they are accessing their accounts. They are able to charge. They are able to collect. So there's no, um, you know, specific, um, you know, challenges that could lead a person to just easily forget their login okay. details when they're actually charging for so long or on their accounts, right? So there are instances where members are mixing the sources. So that's why they're getting to this uh, account that says zero assets, but they actually have the assets. They haven't disappeared. Nobody loses the assets in their accounts. I can point you to the next question in the chat box then. After migration, asset shows zero asking for my downline. So it's simple that the uh, procedure after the migration, if the migration has been successful, then it's as easy as this. You go to the Dalversal website and you use the username and password to log in. That's the way you get into that account. Now, I have had one member. Now, this is strange. This is how I don't understand what happened to his account. But I had one member that actually had to use his email address and his password, and he found his account that way. So, like I say, uh, was it Buzz Bussy Crypto? Try those. Okay. It should be username and password. Is that right, Deborah? It should be username and password. The username, they yeah, it's a username on top, but they don't have to change anything if the characters are within the ten. Uh, the, if, if the username is within the ten characters, you don't yeah, change no, the username. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, you misunderstood. This is after the migration. After the migration, mm -hmm. if it's successful, they should be able to log in direct with, to the Dalversal website using username and password. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I beg your pardon. I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah. Now, on, the main, on the main source, that's where on top, where it normally says log into planet, but no longer at the bottom. That's after the successful uh, profile migrate. They're now going on top where it says log into planet and importing their username and the password and then clicking confirm. That's right. And members will know that the migration has been successful because you do get a, sl a small pop up at the top saying it's been successful. You do not get an email to confirm it. Somebody said earlier on, I didn't get an email to confirm. You don't. OK, you just get that little pop up message saying it's successful. Um, and like I say, there was the one occasion where I just said to this member, I says, just out of interest, try using your email. And that cured it so i don't know how that happened but his email at the top instead of his username found his assets so if you're having that problem where your account you claim is zero try using your email you never know that might work for some odd reason it worked for him uh, but usually it should be username if it goes yeah you're back in uh, Liam. yeah in and dive in divorce you can log in with you can log in with username, you can log in with email. Any one of them get you into your accounts. One of the chances of the individual we're getting is the fact that when they try to when they to change the username, they're using a username that's already existing in divorce. And if they do that, it still will be successful, but it would be wrong. It wouldn't it wouldn't allow you to log in afterward. Because you have uh, so using something that's already existing in the, on the platform. So you got to change it to another name. So that's another thing that you have to already be aware of also. So that will give them an error, give them an error when they try to log into. If you get that. Okay. Okay. And Benjamin in the chat uh, box has put, please, how do you change username on Dalversal? Now, this isn't something that you can do in the back office as far as I know, not on a normal circumstance, but 
what we're saying is when you do the migration, if it's above 10 characters, then you just rub out your username, like I showed in the tutorial, type in a new username with 10 characters or less. If it's been used by somebody else, you won't be able to change it, okay? So under normal circumstances, uh, Deborah, Leon, can you confirm? I don't think you can change your username, is that right? No, you can't change it. There's no other way, to, no way to do it. That's only for migration individuals. Everybody's already in, in, in directly logged into to the divorcer. That username is what you're going to have until eternity. The That's right. only way, yeah, so the ones that being allowed to change, those who are, all those accounts were on Hyper Community Bridge. So now that you're moving to one click bridge, now whatever mm -hmm. username you are using over there, you, it, it no longer could work on divorce. It got below 10 characters. So therefore, you have to change it. And that's why that's allowed to change in this protocol. And if, and if somebody already have it inside of divorcer, you have to change again because the person already log into that. So you can't change to that one. So you're going to error it, change it again to the one that's not available in the platform. And sometimes it says successful, but instead of being a green star, it could be a red star, it could be a red click saying I say successful, but the red tell is that it wouldn't pass the second step, which is to be conformed with the with the platform. So if you get a if you get a red click next to successful, that means it didn't it didn't go to the second protocol, which is to match up up to search what's going on in the platform. So that's what's going on there. One of the most important things to do is take things very slow and jot down everything that you've done in order to remember what you've done. So if something doesn't go right, you know what's happened. Yeah, because this is what I find some members doing is click, click, change, swap, go to this, go to that. And then they get in such a mess, you know, and it's really hard for us to understand what process they've gone through in order to help them you know because you know we're not we're not able to see their screens for instance so when people are asking for assistance they've got to be very precise and let us know exactly what they've done okay deborah was there anything else that you wanted to add to this to try and help members and any members that are watching if you've got any specific uh, questions regarding this migration please put your hand up and let's have your questions Go ahead, Deborah. All right. The one thing I just want to add is that for people who might be slightly misinterpreting the migration, and for example, they are logging in on um, on the SAI uh, account source, and on the menu at the back, you know, on the me feature uh, at the back where we normally log in, and there's um, account settings, there's a Google Authenticator, this um, password, um, transaction password, on that menu at the back, they've also added for all DAO vessel users, for all, all SAI users, for all DVHN users, on that menu at the back, they've added the feature, another menu, which is uh, Hyper Community Migrate. They haven't explained the reason why they've added it on the accounts, they don't actually need the, the migration. However, if someone is misinterpreting, uh, sorry, misinterpreting the feature there or the menu, and they click on it to actually do the migration, it won't allow them. So they are yeah. safe, it won't allow them, that is locked. So even if somebody is uh, not clear and they're seeing that feature there and they're saying I'm probably supposed to be doing it because it's there on the menu and it's added but it will even if they add the details and everything it won't allow them it's locked it won't be successful so yeah members that can get confused with the size si si source and the DVH uh, DVHN is hypernation Mm -hmm. Although the assets were migrated from hyper community asset management platform, like everybody, but they don't fall under the hyper community one click. Okay, that's just to elaborate so that when other people do query such aspects, and then we can know how to answer them. Yeah, no problem there. 
Deborah, sorry, I was just writing something down. Uh, just briefly addressing Yvonne again in the uh, uh, audience. Yvonne, could you let us know in the chat group, um, you wanted clarification on the contract address. Was you uh, wanting to update it? And if so, which um, which exchange or wallet? Was it MetaMask, Exodus, Trust Wallet? Which one? Just let us know in the chat box and we'll help you with that. Oh, can I just speak? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can. I didn't know you could uh, unmute. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's for me to share with my team just the steps okay. to actually do it. So you can sure. use any um, wallet that you choose, so long as they can see a demonstration of the steps. Okay, well, it's specific per wallet. That's the okay. issue. So, uh, um, let's go with MetaMask then. Okay. Okay, just one second. Thanks again. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Let me see. I should have this somewhere. Just bear with us, guys. I should have this video in a folder somewhere, which I could do straight away. So... Um, Leon, can you just give the members a little bit of an insight about the Doughty coin while I just get this uh, video set up? Sure, sure. Thank okay. Uh, one of the value that the way I see it in terms of the, the Doughty coin, I'm seeing it in a way that it is the goal of it is to carry the diversal value, the volume of the value of diversal will be carrying that token. I say, and the way I look at it, it's, it's set up as a way that, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin carry the value of the globe of the blockchain. So anything that's built in the blockchain, add value to, to the Bitcoin and give more people more faith in it. So by doing that, people are willing to pay more for Bitcoin because of that. So as you grasp the aspect, the factors in that both of them that mirrors each other is Bitcoin is got a limited capacity, a limited number of coins, no one could be made. Diversal, the OT have a limited number, no one could be printed within the contract. Then you have, in terms of carrying the value, you got Bitcoin carrying the value of the globe, the OT carrying the value of, of Diversal. Since the same process in the Bitcoin, there's only a limited being released. So I think based on the, the mining aspect of it, as the miners basically do uh, do the mining process of the, of the coin, they release certain amounts per day and so forth. Uh, same thing will be happening with, with, with the OT. Since we subscribe to it, those are going to be released on a monthly basis, the process is going to be released. The same way into the circulation. So cut down the monk that's being circulated, just like Bitcoin, if somebody huddle it, it's less in circulation. So that causes the price to go up more also because if anybody needed to do anything, they have to use the Dow T to do anything on diversal, like land subscription, planet ownership, all these things that will be using Dow T to accomplish. The MySpace, the Habitat, the furnitures, the MySpace, and everything they're doing now, they're using Doughty to purchase it and to be part of the platform. As of the launching of the, of the Doughty process, the listing and, and, and launching the coin, they wouldn't require an invitation code anymore to be part to get into Diversal. You could just click the Diversal homepage and anybody could get into the platform and register into the platform. The only thing they, they need to do is to buy Doughty tokens so they could so they could participate in the program. If they don't have a Doughty token, they could have a registered account, but they can't do nothing in the platform till they get to it. So that's why the, the Doughty token can't devalue the platform. If everything's done, then it's gonna be like that. A lot of individuals is thinking like the okay, IPOC group and make different coins, and because of that, the same thing may happen. All the coins that IPO community has made in terms of what they were doing was mean coins. They were not coins that connected to the platform that carry value. And they did not know product. So all the money that came into IPO community was crowdfunding that it was doing. 
and and everybody that being rewarded for doing for doing what they did were being paid from that money that comes in. You think when like the MOF coin that was using in the system was outside of of IPO. So every time somebody take and, and take the HU in IPO and bought MOF coin, they was basically bleeding the value from IPO community. In diversal, in diversal, when you do anything with the Doughty coin, you add in value to to diversal. You're not taking away value from it. In terms like the 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 MOF, the no, the the coin that we have there right now for the for the the TFA, the TFA will be like a MOF to the system. And Jonah understand that. So what he have done is remove the removing the MO the the, the TFA withdraw protocol away from the from the Doughty coin, so it cannot drain it. So that's one of the one of the reason that the restructure the fact the factor because of okay. because of the MOF. So is that enough, Kev? Or I need more. No, no, I'm, I'm fine now, Leon. I had to find this video. I knew I had it somewhere. Rather than have it uploaded to YouTube, I wanted to stream straight from my uh, folders. So, okay, thanks for keeping that going. I'll just address the members after showing this video for Yvonne. Okay, awesome. so just bear with us, guys. Let's go to Yvonne's video. Let's help her and her downline with this video. Okay, so this is... Add in your Doughty wallet to Dowversal uh, for MetaMask, okay? So let's go full screen and let's go ahead with this one. Okay, guys, stand by. Hey guys, welcome to this uh, additional tutorial um, that may help a few of you members of Dalversal. Um, I noticed that there's quite a few members still having problems on that one thing of adding their Dow T token, okay, to their MetaMask, for instance, and then adding it to their back office, okay? Now, whether you was in the pre-sale um, uh, allocation subscription or not, in the future, you will need this um, Doughty wallet address put in, in your back office, okay? Now, for those um, allocated uh, amounts, monthly amounts, Dalversal will be releasing uh doughty tokens into that wallet okay so we can't ignore this guys yeah it's something that every member must do all right so how do we go about that well the first thing to do is to um add the wallet address to your metamask now many members have said oh can i use exodus can i use this that, and the other yes you can but i'm just going to focus on metamask for this um one tutorial if i get the opportunity i will do it for exodus as well because that's another good um platform to use okay so let's get it straight guys let's go and share my screen okay and i'll go across to my metamask and show you what we need to do Okay, so before we um, go any further, what we need is the contract address of the Doughty token, and that's supplied by um, Dowversal Direct. Now, if you're using anything other than this, you will not have the official Doughty token contact contact address contract address. Sorry. So I'll put this in the description at the bottom of this tutorial video. It must be the same one, okay? Otherwise, you're not uh, using the correct token address, all right? Now, ignore the rest of it because this was about the pre-sale, okay? But that's the contract address that you require, just that one there, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip across to my 
MetaMask, which will be here. You should be able to see that. And what I'm going to do is add that token because when you log in to Dalversal and go to your Dal T, I've removed mine just so that you can see that there's no subscription address there. So you need to click edit and enter your Dow T wallet address. Now, this is where people are getting confused. They're thinking the contract address goes in there. It's not. It's your wallet address from MetaMask or um, Exodus or whatever. So this one's MetaMask. So let's close that one down. So I need to create that wallet address first. So you log into your MetaMask account. Okay. And as default, you will be on the Ethereum main net. But if not, if you're in, say, for instance, BNB &B chain, you need to swap it. You need to swap to the Ethereum main net. You've got to be on that one, guys. Otherwise, it won't work properly. OK, so as you can see here, I've got no Dow T. OK, no wallet address, no wallet for a Dow T token. So what I need to do, guys, is go to the um, bottom of this. You click on import tokens, custom token. Now, that's where you put your token contract address. That's the one that we was looking at in here. OK, now that's the official copy selected test text. That's the official contract address given by Dalversal. So make sure it's the correct one, guys. OK. Go back to your MetaMask. Lost it. Go to it again. Import tokens, custom token, contract address, paste. OK. And there it's picked it up straight away as a Dow T token symbol. Click on next. That's the one. Click on that and import that token. And there you go, guys. Go back to tokens and you'll see it's in with your Ethereum, USDT, BUSDT and so forth. And there's your Dow T uh, wallet. OK, now you will notice that the wallet address is exactly the same. That's nothing to be concerned about for uh, WETH, wrapped Ethereum and so forth. It's the same wallet address. OK. But at least you've got your separate wallet separate to all your other cryptocurrencies. OK, so you need to copy that, copy the clipboard, copy that wallet address there to your um, clipboard. Then you go back to your Dalversal account and make sure you're on your Dow T page there. Roll down and you edit your subscription address and you paste your wallet address in there. OK, so that's the wallet address that you're looking for. AC6 is mine. I always check the last five, three, four, five letters on my wallet address to make sure it's correct click ok and there you can see it's been updated now like I say guys everybody's got to do this so just to double check it's 21 ac6 go back to your metamask and there we go 21 ac6 so you've got that correct wallet address in there it's not the contract address it's the wallet address it's your personal wallet address that it's looking for okay so let me come back into the studio stop sharing my screen okay guys hopefully that's um put that one to bed now i mean there's been a lot of people i did do a tutorial but it was when the pre-sale uh, allocated period was live so it was within a bigger um tutorial hopefully that will just narrow it down for those people that just looking for that part of the tutorial okay guys take care and catch you soon bye bye for okay guys and i can add that there was uh, even an update to that tutorial okay and i want to make it clear that uh, there was another contract address that you use it was actually updated and I do believe, let me double check that Private Buddykins has put that in um, in the chat.
box you have, haven't you, Sarah? I'm sure she has somewhere. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Okay. So make sure that you use the new contract address, guys. Don't use the old one, okay? Um, if anybody wants a copy of that video as well, have you have you shared the YouTube link for that? We can, we can share yeah, that as yeah. well. Go ahead, Leon. May I add something here? Uh, on the, the, the people that... Everybody going to need to have the the Dauti thing, like you said. But it's not going to be added to the pre to the, to the location because that location is only for the pre-sale process. Because that's going to the to, to external company to manage that release process. Divorce is not going to be doing that. And there'll be a, a next company going to be doing that process. So the ones that are going to be for your rewards from your land and those kind of stuff, there could be a different place to put that. That I'm that's the way I'm seeing it. See what I'm saying? So we need to put it somewhere else. Not everybody be using this one. It's only pre-sale people are using that location to adjust in there. But if you get any token in the pre-sale, then you got to put it there. But the reward section will be a totally different location. That's how I've seen it, if you understand that. Yeah, I think you can choose. I mean, you know, like with everything, I think what we do, we suggest people don't jump. Um what was that uh, saying that we did with episode 26? L look before you leap, you know. Let's make sure that we've got all the facts before we uh, jump in. Um, yes, I do believe that, Leon, that all the uh, pre-sale tokens that are given on the monthly rewards are going into that account. And it would be best to have another wallet for all the other activity that we have with Dow T that makes it a lot easier to keep control of exactly how much we get from the monthly rewards, for instance. So just going back through the chat, Yvonne, hopefully that's um, helped you out with that. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Can you use MetaMask for more than one account? That was from Geneva. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Yes. Um, and without going through it now, I will find a um, YouTube video. In fact, Meta, MetaMask have got their own YouTube channel, I believe, and that process is um, from them. Okay, so if you look look for MetaMask on YouTube, excuse me, uh, they will have a video on that. So the address that you sent to Dow Versal is the one on the first page of MetaMask and not the contract address. Absolutely 100%, yes. The personal Dow T wallet address is the one that you want to put in your back office, not the contract address. The contract address is what creates the token in your MetaMask. So uh, Zandil, Zandil, that is absolutely correct, 100%. The address that you send to Dow Versal is the one on the first page of MetaMask. That's right. Yeah. And that's on the Ethereum network. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. That's great. Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay. We've got a question in there. Where are we going, Sarah? Say again. Uh, Okay, let's have a look. Pravinst. Uh, I watched account migration video upon completing a message appear as account migration is successful. I followed the process, but I had message appear as account has been registered. Am I doing it wrong? I'm missing something. Okay. If it was successful, it could be, you know, one link to the unit. Yes, it is the same email and, and same username, but upon completion, the judge already shares account against six seven. But I didn't have a message. Instead, the message's email has been registered. This is good. Okay. And normally, and it should pop up again. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point that Buddykins has said that in, if you can get access to your account again, have you got that opportunity to migrate again? Has that come back? Apologies, just trying to understand gate right. I was supposed to get a new email address too. Okay, this is where it gets confusing. Okay, Deborah, have you had the time to read through 
for Avin's um, problem here while I've been busy. I don't know whether Sergeant Deborah's available. Ah. I didn't need, yes, I did, but I saw uh, there was already an answer there, so I didn't really go much into it. I saw okay. there was an answer there already. Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to fathom out because it's quite a confusing one. Slightly, you've not completed it. Yes, the same email and the same username. Okay. I'm, just checking, yeah. I'm just checking on it again. Okay. Can I leave you to have a look at that one while I uh, um, address Geneva? All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Geneva, do we need to set up MetaMask before the deadline? Um, I would do it whenever possible because it's in your benefit. If you've got Dow T tokens in that pre-sale allocation period, then absolutely get it sorted out because as soon as they start uh, dishing out them rewards, I don't think you want to be at the back of the queue, do you? I don't. <laughs> Let's get them uh, MetaMask wallets opened and ready, yeah. Absolutely, I would do it whenever possible. Um, Pierre, please confirm when we reach 30%, where will the rewards show that we will receive daily as it do you in the rewards account? Right, this is a good question because I did, I did say that we would address this if we had the time. Okay, and Deborah, as soon as you got an answer on that, give us a shout. Okay, so when we reach 30%, where will the rewards show? Okay, guys. You know how to see. Um, let me share my back office. Let me let me go through this with you guys. Just give me a second. Let me set this up because I want. I do want to address this because I've seen a lot of people going through this. Okay, I should be able to share this. Just one second. I'd much rather do it this way, guys, because it makes it so much easier for you guys to understand. Are you all right for two minutes, Deborah? Yes, yes. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I don't know that one. Okay. Okay, Sarah, can you see my back office? No? You can't see my back office. I wonder why. Just bear with. Should have been able to. I was able to see your back office. Then you close the window. <laughs> we can now, yeah? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Okay, then, guys, let me just go through this, right? This is my uh, TFA package, my AP5K. And what we do, we, uh, for those that hit the 30%, you can clearly see that I've surpassed that. I'm on a charge rate of 74%. So let's have a look at the details. Okay, so there's your 30%. We all know that it's that little red line there. So anything above that enables uh, members to do a withdrawal. So, okay then, guys, so what does that mean? Let's take a look at this, okay? Let's go back. At the bottom, you'll get allocated a withdrawal button there, okay? And at the bottom right here in this list, it says what's available. Now, whatever is available starts at, I think it's $2.25 uh, DU per day on that 5K package, okay? And it builds up slightly higher every day, and it accumulates in there where it says available, okay? So I've left mine to accumulate while everything's been happening in the Dowverse Leco system, and I've collected 79 DU in there. Now, what, what do we do with this? How do we withdraw it? Uh, how do we withdraw it? Now, what we have to do, guys, is click withdraw. I'll do this on this occasion to show you guys, okay? So all you have to do is click withdraw, and it comes up with this pop-up box. Can you see that, sir? Yeah, okay. So it just says withdraw 79. You don't get the option of how much you withdraw. It's all or nothing, okay? And the token is in DU. So all you have to do is confirm it. The rewards 
uh, withdrawal is successful, proceed to your rewards account to check your rewards. So click on check rewards. It goes to your rewards account in DU in here. OK, now I'd already got some DU in there. But if you click on details, I'm sure this is where it should show up. If it's all working as it should, which is damn typical because it's not. <laughs> OK, it's not. Just bear with guys. Let's have a look. Yeah. Normally it would show under there that you'd, you've had a deposit of your DU. OK, but that's where it shows up, guys. OK, so it will appear in your rewards account. And then at that point, I am not going to take it any further for, for obvious reasons. Let me just come back into the um, main area. OK, I'm not going to take it any further, guys, because the withdrawal process is going to be different to what it was before. And we're still waiting for complete information, full information on how that procedure uh, goes forward, because uh, I do believe it'll be in Doughty now, Deborah. Is that right? Yes. So we'll be looking at how we, how that happens, guys. Hence what the next tutorial will be about. It will be how to withdraw. And we're all looking forward to that. So I hope that's answered the question of how to withdraw our TFA uh, daily reward. So what I would say, guys, is accumulate it. OK, because if you withdraw it straight away, you'll be paying gas fees on every withdrawal. So the thing is, if you accumulate it and withdraw a, a sizable amount, you'll only be paying the one gas fee. OK, so we've got to be, you know, tactful on this. How do we do it? If you're withdrawing hey, many, 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 many small amounts, it's going to add up. Go ahead, Leon. Uh, the the You've muted, Leon. Go on. The only thing he be, he be, he be changing that the goal is to change the, what's being withdrawn from the from the TFA. So it may be a totally different token. It may not be that. Because that's directly linked to the is somebody withdrawing from the TFA and using mm -hmm. that token to withdraw, most likely people will try to go and cash it out as they, as they withdraw it. And that's not the goal of the doughty. See what I'm yeah. saying? So you may not want to use it out to withdraw the TFA. You may give it a totally different token to do that. That's what, that's what I get from the last conversation you were saying, that they're working and getting a different token, kind of breaking away from the DAUT token. Because if you, if you put the, the TFA on the DAUT like that, it could be like draining divorcer value from the TFA. The TFA is going to drain the value of the token. So you don't want that. You want a totally different token for it. So somehow we can knit into that. So there could be maybe a fork, okay. there could be many factors, but it's not going to be. Okay, so, this, so this is going to be one of the updates that we're waiting for to find out what the new process is then. Yeah, that's correct. I'm just speculating that right. it's going to be, it's going to be that factor. It's not going to be that process where we're going to use the Dauti to withdraw because that would drain okay. it. And we don't want to do that. So they don't, they don't, in my way, if I'm running system, I wouldn't do that. I would remove it from a, a different token. Maybe leave that, leave it as the, as a DU, so you could do that and withdraw from the platform with it. So it stay as USDT. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because you put it in yeah, the yeah, person sure. and going to cash it, they could keep the Dauti all in place. And you yeah. don't really want that. Yeah. But that's just speculation yeah. on my part. We gotta wait on divorce or put information out there which will be reality. It's absolute. Make sense? Absolutely, yeah. Currently, that's uh, and you see the thing. What I would try to cover is uh, there was a member this afternoon, and they thought the withdrawal button to begin with on the TFA thought they could take it straight out. They can't. Okay, they thought they could take that to a MetaMask. No, it doesn't work like that. So let's just let's just bide our time, guys. This is what I was saying at the beginning of the program. Let's focus on the main step by step procedure. 
with the withdrawal process for everything is going to change. OK, but currently you won't be able to withdraw that straight to a MetaMask account. OK, uh, Connie's put, I was told by Upline that we did not need to put in MetaMask wallet address if we only have TFA no land. Is that correct based on what Leon just said? Correct. If you, if, you don't, if you don't have no land, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have no no doubt T process. So you don't have to do nothing with that. Because without the TFA, you wouldn't need you wouldn't need that. It's just TFA it got to be using a different different token. You know it, it wouldn't need it to be in your platform. You see what I'm saying? So that's one the game plan Jonah is saying if, if I hear what he said right. Yeah, so it wouldn't be done that. Just, Only just, RC just... and DU gonna require you to have the process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll just add to that. Keep plugged in. <laughs> keep yeah. plugged in. Keep plugged in because, will... yeah, reality is absolute. What we're saying is speculation. It could be many different factors. So reality will let us know if we're saying the right thing or the wrong thing. Okay, somebody's uh, Multiverse Academies put, are my rewards that I receive in Dow T locked after the pre-sale is open? Are my rewards that I receive in Dow T locked after the pre-sale is open? Now, it depends on what rewards you're talking about. Every, everything right? so far that came in, that, that went to the pre-sale, went into the Dow T token in the pre-sale, those are going to yeah. lock for the, for the process. They're going to lock yeah. for the release on the linear release on the Dow T token as the pre-sale part of it. Anything else mm -hmm. that coming right now is going to be in the platform till we till the, the process they listen and so will come out to go towards yeah. that. That is speculation on my part. Yeah. Reality is yeah. absolute. I was just going to say we can't we can't stress it hard enough that we will give the information once we get it direct Correct. from Universal. Yeah. Other than so, that, we don't know. We don't know. You got it. You know. But okay, we will I do be that. I understand you. But we will help people as soon as we can, you know? Correct. Okay, that's right. They're referring to rewards from land. All right, let me add something on that one. Uh, the member, yes, is referring to the land rewards, you know, the ones that were uh, automatically allocated to Dao T. Yeah. Yeah. For some members, it, it would have happened twice. All right, yeah. the second one wasn't expected. Yeah, so there are members where a double, the first one and the second, the rewards at DURC, and then it was automatically allocated to DAOT. So for those in specific that were allocated during the subscription of DAOT phase on that one month, those ones will be locked and only mm -hmm. distributed on a monthly portion to the members on the okay. linear yeah on the linear so, distribution price i'm also looking at i'm also looking at that question from a slightly different perspective down to what jonah mentioned in the last italian zoom call are my rewards that i receive in dow t locked after the pre-sale from land the rewards from land now what jonah uh, referred to was a possibility because what they're looking at is the land that we own now that's giving us a daily reward and the possibility of the land we purchase with Dow T in the future will be on a different basis. Now, again, guys, we do not know this information, so we can't advise you on that, okay? Now, all Jonah did mention was it was a possibility where if we purchased it with rc and du that's how we would get the rewards back but it wouldn't be in the future in the future we would be purchasing land with dow t but we don't know how we would get the rewards that's yet information to come leon am i correcting that i'm pretty sure that's how i interpreted that the, the way i interpret it is that in when you buy anything if it's if it's subscribed to the land in 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 dow t the reward is going to be in dow t yeah, if, it's, if right now the contract we have right now is with DU, subscribing with DU. When you subscribe mm -hmm. with DU, you get an RC re return. And that, that smart contract, they can't change it. So you got to play yourself yeah. out till you get the 3X. 
That's what Jonah said. And yeah. and then thing you get in and the next set of new contracts gonna be in Doughty. Your, your subscription is gonna be in doubt in Doughty tokens. So therefore you'll get reward in Doughty based on a new marketing plan that's about to come out. Okay, guys, so there you go. I did say we had a lot of information to come, and we've got a bucket full of information that we don't know yet. Okay, so we've it's got a lot plenty of my speculation. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've <laughs> got plenty of Sunday trainings coming your way. Um, and I think this one was the first of them. You know, I'm sure we've got plenty more to come. And uh, guess what date it is tomorrow, guys? It's the 15th of April. Hopefully, fingers crossed, yeah, we're on that Doughty listing day and it'll be party in Dubai. I'm sure it will, yeah. So yet again, guys, I don't know that for sure, but that's what we are looking for. Hopefully, we've got that <laughs> Doughty token listed uh, and then it's just a case of waiting with bated breath for the, uh, you know, trading day because it's the trading day that makes all the difference, you know. Uh, that's when the rockets ignite and take off, I'm sure. Uh, and yeah. I, I'm very bullish on it. I mean, I, like I said, guys, don't get me wrong. We, we're not here to advise financially or anything. But with what we know and with what we've seen uh, with the crew at Dalversal and what they've achieved over the last few days, I've got to be honest, I'm going to say it as it is. I never expected this one-click solution to come now. <laughs> I didn't expect it. It came as a big surprise to me. I thought that was going to be a secondary uh, issue. I thought they were just focusing on the Doughty um, listing and launch first. So these guys have really, you know, gone above and beyond what, what I anticipated as well. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I would estimate this as an 80% success rate so far after what? One day? Two days? And we've got 15 days, I believe, to get this migration uh, sorted out, okay? So what I'm seeing is extremely positive, extremely positive. And all we can say, guys, is if any of you guys or your downlines are still having any problems, get in touch ASAP on the groups. Let's not leave this. We don't want to leave any, any members behind, but we've got to stress when those 15 days are up, the door's closed. The door's closed and Dalversal is on its own, okay? And we are on board with it as well, which is a fantastic position to be in. So if you're watching and you're, you know, I've seen plenty of members, Leon and Deborah's there, and I'm sure I can speak for them as well. I've seen many members dragging their feet, kicking the can down the street, and now they're looking and saying, I ain't messing any longer. I'm moving over and I'm going for gold, yeah? And I've got to say it, guys. What else is there? I'm very positive about it. What about you two guys? Leon? Yep, I'm very... Right now, I've seen, I've seen that. You know what I mean? A lot of people that I was speaking to are now saying, okay, let's make it happen. Let's do this. Because the door is about to close. The bridge is about to... Pull the ship about to leave. So if you're not on board, see you later on the other side. And Deborah, that's what I got. I'm sure you're quite positive about this, Deborah. Am I right? Very, very, very much positive. Um, I would say the team has, you know, many more surprises, but it's very important that we do respect, you know, their yeah. sense of scheduled order to unpack the announcements yeah and also yeah. as if i can mention something there's two announcements that are ready as in today the sunday but dow vessel has not posted it because they just posted something that the community is still you know shuffling with and adjusting to they posted on Friday. But since they are working in advance and they have the Dubai uh, Crypto Week as in from the middle of the week, they're also preparing ahead for that. So there's two announcements that are ready on their desk, but they're just waiting for the community
to speed up the process on the uh, recent one, you know, the one that was posted on Friday. So, yes, yeah. tomorrow we can expect not two, they won't post two at the same time. So it will mm -hmm. be one. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Excellent. And I've got to say, Dal Versal are doing a fantastic job in, uh, you know, moving forward very successfully. Let's face it, guys, yesterday we had no rewards whatsoever. We was confident. We was quietly confident. We knew they'd sort it out. We did have the um, odd members saying, oh, I've got no rewards. What's happening? Is it closing down? Is it, you know, all the what we expect to see? Yeah. And what did what happened? I woke up this morning and there they were, as we expected. Yeah, Dalversal delivered yet again. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> news, guys. Okay. Let's you know. add one more thing, one more thing uh, General Kip. Sure. The, the new week is going to be busy in the ecosystem. There's going to be much more activities and more um, additions on the system as you know, they're preparing for the actual, you know, a trading of the DAO team. There's one thing that I just want to emphasize for the members. The 27th of April, which is the actual cut off of the migration, that's actually not far. It's not far. The days mm -hmm. are running so fast. You know, from tomorrow to the 27th, that's actually going to go so quick, as in it will feel like 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so people must act fast. Yeah, yeah. We are going to have a hectic week ahead. Keep calm, keep calm. And if you have any problems with it, keep calm and reach out for assistance, yeah? And like I said before, give us as much information as possible in order to get that help with you. Because like I say, we need that information in order to work out what's happened, Okay. Nine times out of ten, it's a simple solution. It's the lack of information we get that makes it complicated for us to help you with. And that's that's the way I see it anyway. Okay, guys, uh, I think we've come to the end of this evening. Um, thank you so much, General Kev, Sergeant Deborah and Coach Leon for sharing and teaching us. God bless you all. Thank you very much that, uh, that it's, you know, comments like that that really make this worthwhile and like i say we left last sunday because we simply did not have any direction or solid information in order to take it and look at us now guys we're bombarded with stuff that we can share with you and it's going to get better and bigger okay mm -hmm. so i'm sure that next sunday we'll be back just as bright as we were this weekend as well okay leon did you want anything else uh to say before we 